All right, so first things first, I this is my second impression, to be honest, because OBS has screwed up and I had to re-record this now because my mic was off in the first one and when OBS had updated, it started messing up my cam. So yeah, I'm doing it without the green screen this time because the lights, well, the batteries are recharging right now, so that sucks. So I'm not going to be able to give you guys like a genuine first impression because I already went through like two matches and I won both of them. Clearly here it says I'm still level zero. So rip that. I mean I won both of the other matches. And so let's pretty much go through everything I said. So first things first, I do want to note that Paladins is unique in its own way, away from Overwatch, because there's a whole lot of controversy going around saying that Paladins is a copy of, or clone of Overwatch, but the thing is, Paladins didn't used to be that way. When Paladins first started off, it had unique characters and didn't really have any elements of Overwatch. But as it went on, it started developing some of those characters that were similar to Overwatch. But not all of their characters are complete copies of complete copies of Overwatch. Some of them are different in their own way. Now, if it like had actual clone and the characters actually looked alike, then you can definitely call that a clone. But just because their abilities are somewhat the same doesn't mean they're automatically a clone. And the thing that people have not noticed is that Paladins was in development before Overwatch was announced. So Overwatch was announced in like 2014, why Paladins was already in development. Then in 2015, Paladins was announced. Then Overwatch re-announced itself pretty much at the next pretty much event so they're pretty much like arguing which one came first and everything both of them are pretty just unique games they're both like, good in their own way so just don't bash a game just because you think it's a clone or or think it's the same as a game you love because every different game has its own el element it was, this was inspired by TF2. Overwatch isn't an original idea either. It's inspired by TF2, but with their own spin on it. And even Paladin has their own spin on it as well. So with Paladin, you pretty much have these loadout cards to pretty much help and better your character and help it like counter, help it like counter certain other characters. Like, who was the most OP character everybody was talking about? I believe her name was Sky. Sky, she pretty much is a poison DPS character, so pretty much stacks poison onto your um, onto your enemy, and it just does so much damage over time. Pretty much like a harassment character, a flanking character. So you can actually build a loadout to where it would decrease the duration of her poison. So this game is actually pretty much strategized. And yes, it still has the same concept of capture the point and move the payload. But, you know, maybe a little bit of the ideas came from Overwatch. Maybe they were got a little bit of uh, inspiration from it. So, you guys are pretty much just bashing a game that pretty much is just a game. Games are meant to have, just have fun with. So it seems people have forgotten that, or some people just don't know that in general. The game is just a game. Just enjoy it. Don't just bash it just because you, just because you think it's a clone. Now, if it was like a hard copy, like characters similar and all, then yeah, you can go for it. Just, just bash it all you want. But guys, come on, it's a game. Just, it's meant to enjoy. So let's look into the characters now that I'm done with all that. Ying. Here's Ying, she fights with a mirror. I was using her pretty much all in my um, first impression. I like her, she has illusions and uses a mirror that shoots like a beam and does like constant damage. It is actually like really fun. 
Now, then we have the Beric, who's the Turin guy, the dwarf. You know, dwarves are, are really famous for, like, mechanics, mechanical work and turrets and all that. Fernando. Fernando is pretty much like a shield heavy guy, sort of like a lancer in a way. And next, Ruckus. we have oh, Ruckus. And Bolt. And Bolt. <laughs> Ruckus and Bolt is pretty much like, I guess you can count them as two people, but you're playing as one. Bolt is the robot and Ruckus is just the little goblin who's inside of it. Makoa. Makoa is pretty much the guy who kept like hooking me across the map and shooting me with a cannon and hitting me with his anchor, which was really annoying. He's really tanky. Makoa. Okay, I did not try to pick you again, Makoa. Cassie. Cassie is an archer. I'm pretty sure she's like a sniping character. She has a um, little hawk or some kind of bird that just pretty much, I think, scouts the area. I haven't played with any other character except for Ying, so. Kinesa. Kinesa, I noticed she's a sniper. She pretty much like just a normal average sniper. But you have to be careful. I've seen people were like run into battle just to shoot. It's really weird. I don't get why they were doing that, but hey. Drogo. Ah, I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Drogos. Drogos. Ah, ah, it's like a weird name for me to pronounce. For me, that is. But I love his design. Drogos, I'm pretty sure you're like a flamethrower character. I'm not really sure. Bomb King. Bomb King is pretty much crowd control, is what I've noticed. He just like throws bombs on the field. Is yeah, he can get a little bit annoying. Victor. Victor, just pretty much the commando of the game. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure his rifle is a burst. I'm going to try him out in our next first impression. Pip. Pip is pretty much AoE as well. Crowd control. Grok. Grok, he's a Samoan. He places down um, totems. And each totem does like a various different thing. I've noticed there are some healing t totems and pretty sure one of them placed down like a totem that did damage for those who like jumped in it. He's definitely a support character. Grover. Grover, he threw a lot of axes at me, which was very annoying and painful to deal with. Sky. Sky. Everyone labeling her the most OP character in the game because her poison duration and how much damage it does. I think she has maximum of nine ticks. So if she hits you nine times, that's just nine ticks of damage and you're just dying very quickly. I've seen the whole team just die to this woman. Evie. There's Evie. Everybody's saying she's an OP character as well. She does a lot of um, AOE damage with her left click. Fuck. Buck is a flanking character. I'm pretty sure he deals with like a shotgun, maybe. I don't know. That looks like a shotgun, at least. <laughs> I I'm not sure. There was a grenade launching character. Pretty sure that's Pip, though. Androxus. Androxus is pretty much like your McCree slash Reaper looking character. But he looks, in my opinion, he looks better than him. He looks pretty sick. Now. I wasn't like a huge, huge fan of Overwatch with some of the um, character balancing they have to go through. But at the at the moment, the I haven't gotten to like the late games and getting like more experienced players yet because it could be like just as strong as Overwatch. But you gotta remember, this is still in open beta, so they're still testing out some things. Here's your loot crates and everything where you get crates. Hopefully I'll get one in the next match, and here's my profile. You guys can add me, Wolf MMO. Maybe I'll play a little bit more of this game inside of um, on my gameplay channel. But here is your store. You could buy crystals and pretty much the founder pack right here, which is 14, well, nearly $14. 
you can get all the characters exclusive skins and amount and 20 chests so that's actually a pretty good deal and here are all your prices for your crystals and you can use your steam account your steam credits just to buy and you can redeem your codes and buy some new costumes and buy chess and change your name so now with all that out of the way we're gonna get into the actual gameplay and have a bit of fun so we're in the queue now so loadout cards you pretty much get through your chess so each time you level up a character or do a match you get a chess that you can use so somebody already picked him right off the bat so I'm gonna go with Ying again because Ying is probably one of my favorite characters right now. Or should I pick Sky this time? I guess I'll go with Sky. Why not? See how good she is. She's a flanking character, so I'm supposed to get like behind my opponent and everything. Uh, let's see. Can I see a little bit of? Oh, I can change her skin. Oh, I can change certain things. So you can like just pretty much change it up in a way. Okay, so somebody didn't ready up, so rip that. Maybe somebody will quick pick Sky, because that's a lot of things people do. As soon as we get in the game, they just somebody immediately go to a character. Sky. Alright, so I'm going to choose Sky. Okay, here we go. Somebody actually chose it. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't think we have any support characters, do we? No, nobody chose the support. Oh, everybody chose damage. Ying. Oh, well, I'm going Ying just to save everyone. Because Ying's uh, illusions can actually heal your team. I'm a guy who likes to, you know, try and play off my team. Help them out a little. The battle is All right, about to we're going begin. against these guys. So the game did say play against other players in casual, so I'm pretty sure we're playing against other players. Hopefully. And not just some bots, because the the game didn't really give a bot option. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do two matches for you guys again, again. So I'll see you guys when we get in the game. All right, we are in the game. Time to take charge. Now you have different loadouts you can make, but I only have this one for Ying. So now I'm gonna purchase an item. Which item will help me the most? I always go. I always go this one first. You guys can pick other things like utility, defensive, and all that. Ying is more of a damage support for me. Like killing your team, causing a lot of damage. I like I still like the mirror. Like if you're in front of somebody, you can see him in your mirror. Ying is a new character. So yeah. All right, now they're gonna automatically put on a stun on horses, and here we go. Now our objective is just to go capture point, just like Overwatch. Now, actually, I'm happy that we have multiple games like this. All right, got first blood. Oh god. Okay, get away from that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. All right, heal me. All right, it's healing my teammate. Got him. We got him. All right, so we got our point. I'm gonna put down some more illusions that I just heal my teammate and do his damage. I guess headshots do do more damage. Oh god, I went so far. Hello, bomber king. <laughs> I don't think anybody else chose a support character. Oh, I see a damage dealing character. Yeah, he backed off. He don't want any. He don't want none. Oh god. They came from behind. Definitely a good flank. That's good on them. Okay, I'm gonna go with killing since I am getting kills right now, so. 
I'm doing pretty good, so I want to get my HP back off these kills. Which makes me more force. Alright, we're doing good right now. So now we can push. Okay, he put it on objective. Got him. Alright. Make sure nobody's flanking around. I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, I like how you can see his shield energy too. Alright, we're doing good right now. What, you want some Bomb King? Oh god, where did you throw down? Oh yeah, he does have a shotgun. Okay, yeah, I think we are playing against bots. I mean, that's what it feels like. I've gotten so many matches like this. Okay, that's not something I like. Oh my god. Jeez, they rained over here. Is it a burst rifle? Oh my god, it's not a bur burst rifle. <laughs> yeah, he has bot aim. Well, it looks like bot aim at least. I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. This is just a casual match that I have open for me. So, it says play against other players. I'm I'm just going to go with we're just playing against other players. Okay, you came all the way over here just for me. Jesus, bro. Alright, team. We only got 30 seconds to push this thing. Gonna use my ult. Kill the shotgun guy. All right. I will not die. Not yet. Oh my God! Oh, come on! <sighs> Bomb King, everyone. Bomb King. Jeez. Bomb King pushed me off so far. That sucked. Oh man, that sucks. Oh well. Point spawning in fifteen seconds. So I'm gonna pick this next for direct damage. But our team looks like they're ready to go. So let's go. Alright. Oh my god, oh my god. Jesus. Okay. Bomb King stuns too, which is really annoying. Alright. We go ahead and put another one. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keeping my team's healed. Alright, we're doing good now. 
Gotta remember, just keep summoning my illusion so I can keep healing my team. Okay. Alright, come on, come on. Oh god. <laughs> I think I need to pick reloading more than anything. Alright, this is where we choked last time. Kill him. Kill that guy. Thank you. Got him. Alright guys, we're doing good. Keep pushing. I like how their uh, name goes red each time you're... Uh, I mean, your name... Their, their name goes orange each time they're too far away for you to hit. Come on, keep pushing. We are stronger together. Okay, kill him. My aim is so off. Okay, good, good, good push, good push. Alright guys, we got one more that we win. Let me go ahead and buy some things. Do I really want that? You're gonna have one of each, so I'm gonna choose this. And choose this. And upgrade that. So you can only have one of each section. So do make sure to build wisely. Five, four, Maybe I should have chose reload. Two, one. Eh, I'm good. Alright, here we go. I guess that stops people from building like two aggressive builds. I will not die. Not yet. Got him, got him, got him, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, they put me all the way over here. The knockback damage in this... Yeah, the knockback in this game is insane. so much fun. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh my god, that range is ridiculous. Bomb King is so annoying. Oh dear god. Bomb King is ridiculously annoying. So, 
actually we're doing pretty good right now. If we capture this point, we should have it. Victory. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're actually finished that one. Jesus. A support's job is never done. You guys saw one match of Ying. You got, eh, everything's pretty good. Ah, uh, did I get a chest though? No, I did not. Rip. As you guys can see, join a battle against other players. So we were fighting other players. They just weren't like pushing very, very hard. Okay. Just the full team just canceled out. I guess they weren't ready. Select a champion. All right, here we go. Ah, well, somebody Scout. chose that. So ah, still no support again. Kind of feel like I want to play another character. Yeah, I kind of want to play another character. So let's see how we do without a support. Let's see is the support really needed against strategy. Depending on what map we get, we should be good. Ice mines? I don't think I've ever been there. Oh god, they have a Ying over there. This is the first time I've seen other people play Ying. The battle is about to begin. This should be fun. Oh, I have been to Nice Mines before. Okay, this is actually a pretty good map. Alright. God. Really intense. I'm definitely going to be playing this. I'm going to see if my buddies want some, uh, want to try out the game. If they don't, then, eh, I'll play by myself. I, I honestly don't mind. Oh, oh God. Romance me with small talk. I'll romance you with small talk. I mean, what? Ah, oh, she fires so fast. Ah, oh, Bomb King has some, like, grenades he throws down? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I have a right click that does something. We'll see. Oh, so can he detonate him at any time? That's my question. Alright, time to play like a flank. I'm a pro reaper. No, I'm just kidding. Probably not a pro reaper, but eh, I'm pretty decent at reaper. Oh god. Got one kill. Actually, okay. Oh, somebody up there? Oh, no. Alright, I'm healing now. Wait, did I come out from that direction? Yep. Got that one. Wow, dude, I was pushing E instead of E, so that so that's on me. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna save up a little bit more. I haven't got to what I want yet. Oh, dude, I couldn't. I couldn't. My teammate was just watching. What was he doing? He was just behind the objective like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna let you guys duke it out. <laughs> Jeez, man, come on. Help me out. 
Well, she's dead now, so we're good. My aim was not on point that time. I could have killed her. What? <laughs> he grabbed me behind. Hold on. What? Okay. That just happened. <laughs> oh, God. That happened. Okay, yeah. Enemy is, like, really wrecking us. Oh, it's the archer chick. Alright, let's, let's see if I can find a good way to get... No, I can't find any way. Uh, let's see. No good flanks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sky is definitely not my character. Fifteen seconds remaining. Enemy killing spree. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, I don't think anybody's contesting. Ah, oh, damn, he died at the last second. Oh, I just got my ult, so. Uh, let's see. Life steal. I can use this. Point spawn Man, he's actually really fun and intense. <laughs> For me, that is. For you guys, maybe not so much. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I'm gonna have to learn this map pretty good. Um, so this is just an alternate route. We can't let them take it. Take charge. They got her. Time's ticking. All right, you got her. So let's go with movement speed. Nah, right. Okay, she revealed us as seeing special ability. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, I get her. I get her now. Okay. Right click is the bread and butter. Okay. Yeah, she's actually pretty simple. Pretty sure somebody's probably gonna come around this way. Alright, now we're getting a good push. My aim is always so off. I don't see anyone else. Oh. Hey. 
Time's ticking. Okay, so you don't toss it, you just throw it down. Alright, there we go. Okay, now I get her. Oh god, I'm on a 20 kill streak. Jesus. <laughs> Feed me. Whew. God, this gameplay is going a lot longer than I thought it would be. But after this, guys, we'll just end it off. I think it goes a lot longer since I'm not playing this support character. Because we don't really have a support character right now. All right, I'm gonna flank around. Uh, can I get up here? Yeah, I can. I want to be on high ground. Alright, 25 kill streak. Jesus. Here we go. Now we got our point pushed up. Should be good. Oh, wait, what? Aw, oh, I think he hit me with the chain. But that was awesome. I love that spin. Ah, uh, yeah, he he killed me with the chain. Nice. Uh, can I get nimble? Yep, that is exactly what I want. All right, going back on a point. Yep, our team got it, so I don't have to worry about it. Whew. Well, like I said, the game is unique in its own way. Not everybody will love it. Not everybody will, will, like, hate it. Just enjoy whatever games you enjoy playing. Now, I really hope, like, this whole, like, Halo, like, this whole Halo um, thing becomes, like, a own category. Like, instead of people, like, hating, like, Paladin and everything, I hope that this whole thing just becomes a genre, like a shooter MOBA or something like that. Like a protected payload type of category, instead of like everybody hating like one game for doing like capture payload, just because TF2 like created it. It's like, so what? It's just a game we all can enjoy. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some hate comments and some dislikes. Hey, you guys do you, I don't care. but. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. See you guys next time. Peace out.